Hello. <laughs> I want to give you an update um, on my healing and um, the what my body is able to do now and stuff like this. So this last week has been um, it's been a slow one. You know, I went on a long walk and um, I couldn't get a ride back. I, so I didn't mean to walk as long as I did and. Um, my knee and hip was basically saying no to doing anything for about um, four or five days. So today I went out to go for my morning swim. Um, the water goes down so low you actually can't get in because there's so much coral that it's just too painful <laughs> to, to walk on. And so I, I did my exercises on the beach, which was, a, which was amazing. And you know what I'm seeing from all of this is like remembering when I was a kid. Like I spent most of my childhood either out building forts, or if I was inside, I was like dancing and working out and stretching and and lifting weights, and that's what I did as a child. Um, not so much on homework though, <laughs> not until my teens. Um, so um, so amazingly enough, I did a number of different things. I finally. Uh, hopped once on my right knee and if you can see I'm actually sitting in a cross-legged position which is something really new in the last week or so like when it first started I could still actually do this and then I injured it re-injured it and I haven't been able to sit like this for the last however long and then just recently last week or two I've been able to sit like this uh, but this morning I have done something new and that is um I have not been able to do this, which is I'm sitting on my feet, and that is something that I've not been able to do the whole entire time, and I can still feel it stretching through the, the front of my knee, but um, it's progress. Um, made me really, really happy, and some um, inner thigh things that I've not been able to do um, because it just, this whole area is just painful to do any inner thigh work. Um, I'm able to do now, I'm able to do a uh, breaststroke um, because breaststroke, when you're doing this, your legs kind of go out also. And I just two days ago, I was able to start doing that, which is like, yes. Um, yeah, so progress is happening. I found a massage therapist. Um, I'm still, um, now that I've moved to Thailand, I'm still looking for a good physical therapist and I'm willing to um, move towns and everything, even though I love where I am. But, um, my leg is starting to straighten more when I walk, which is great um, because if you can see, this is actually the most straight it's been and I'm not doing anything normally at the push. And so that is as straight as it gets and it's almost, it's almost normal except for back here, it's actually painful to do that. But this has only happened in the last day. So progress is happening. So I'm noticing that when I rest it, um, it actually, um, it, it progresses all on its own. <laughs> so, and then when I work it, it progresses on its own. So it's like, I'm, I'm just really learning how to listen. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a progress uh, report. I thank you so much for your donations. They've been so helpful. Like it's been a, a huge relief. I was hoping actually to get to India because it's cheaper to live there and the medical system is cheaper there um, and everything's just cheaper but <laughs> bought the airline ticket and the exact same day that I got my visa and my airline ticket um, India's border has been um, shut down so um, I just uh, they just canceled my airline ticket um, yesterday um, so I am happily uh, stuck <laughs> in Thailand and I've thought about coming back to work but with the virus and everything it's like I, I wouldn't be able to work anyway everybody is, uh, is canceling their workshop so I'm, I'm hoping you know something shifts in the next month or two so I can come home um, and so but I'm gonna be here because it's cheaper to live than going back um, especially when I'm not able to work and if I can find a place where I can teach stuff, stuff online I'm, I might try that but I'm really, really um, deeply in gra gratitude and appreciation for everybody who's donated, whether it's your words, um, your kind sentiments, um, money, um, you know, it's like so beautiful. It's been so helpful. It's really taken a lot of stress 
and actually coming to Thailand has taken off a lot of stress too because it's so much cheaper than Bali. Um, so um, anyway, thank you. Please feel free to share my um, um, link, my GoFundMe link. I can't share on Facebook. They've taken me down for, I, I went crazy and I shared it all over the place on <laughs> uh, Facebook and um, they said I was spamming. But if you put it on your page or one or two pages, they're not going to like people like, oh, I don't want that to happen. It's not going to happen. It's only when you go crazy. Um, I put it out to like 50 people in one day, and that was bad. So um, anyway, you take care. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to share this uh, journey with you. Big hugs and love.